know a lot of cats out there don't like going to school, you know what I mean? Because it's either boring, non interesting, or whatever. I felt the same way. Kind of dropped out from the ninth grade, whatever. I went for my own knowledge. But the whole the whole value of it, I learned that it's my self knowledge and my own reading the books. You know what I'm saying? Like, I may go to school and get the books and then just go home and read them. You know what I'm saying? So, I want kids out there to realize you just got to teach yourself. You got to pick that book up yourself and take your own initiative. That's the only way you're going to learn these days. As far as music, you know, so I was the worst kid in music class, you know what I mean? But right now, they calling me a musical genius. You dig it? So, don't even take what this society is saying to you on face value. You know Look inside yourself and study yourself and study for yourself. You'll get much more further. Is this for you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I feel you could learn something and give something back. Because people put limitations to you on telling you you could do this or you could become this, but you can't become that. But when you teach yourself or when you have knowledge yourself, you know that you are that. And there's nothing greater than you. Sometimes I sit back with a pack minds in another world thinking... I think school is good for reasons like whatever you want to do in this world, there's a place where you can learn how to do it. It's like if you want to be an accountant, they got a, there's, there's a place to go to be an accountant. If you, if you want to make films, they got a school for films. So it's about what you want to be. So, you know, schools is definitely important. We're we not knocking that. We're just saying that, you know, it's more ourselves wanting to, you know, go out, just obtain the knowledge, you know what I'm saying, that we got. It was more like that inner, that inner thing inside of us, man. You definitely got to study and know but leaving it up to a school building, that building is just a building full of things, you know what I mean? But if you go in there, you go in there to explore for yourself, you're gonna gain much more than having somebody tell you. Like for instance, Rock Club, you didn't really probably learn how to do your guitar from school. They probably told you some basic things, but it was your own inspiration and feeling that brings out what you do. You for failing me. I didn't get good grades, but uh, when it came down to it, I was supposed to graduate from um, the 12th grade or whatever, and I'll never forget this. My music teacher came to me and was like, yo, Clef, listen, I think you're going to get a scholarship or whatever. But she said, there's a problem. This math teacher is going to fail you unless you go up there, right? So I went and got my acoustic guitar, wrote her a song. And I was like, how you doing, Miss Serato? She was like, can I help you, Mr. Jean? I was like, you know, um, I, I wrote this song for you, and I want to sing it. Pull my guitar and some Bob Dylan. Bang. Yeah, da, 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 bang. I sung one of the hottest songs. She looked at me dead in the eye and said, Get out of my class, you're flunking the class, you gotta go to summer school. I felt heart torn, but I went to summer school and just got straight A's in summer school and brought that to my mom and she couldn't understand it. She was like, Why didn't you just do that in school? Because the, the way that when it was like Columbus discovered America and all that stuff, I just was not buying it. This is how Malcolm X died, I wasn't buying it. When they said this is how Martin Luther King died, I wasn't buying it. I wanted to know a little more than what was there, you know what I mean? A lot of times, it's good to mix the school knowledge with the street knowledge, you know what I mean? That's the best knowledge and stuff. Thanks, Mr. Robinson. It's, it's sort of like something that I see going on or something that's real personal. So when I, when I write, I usually just take it from the heart and then it just pours out, you know what I mean? Anything that you write from your heart or, th or through an experience, like everything that I write is through experiences, you know what I'm saying? For me, I just, it depends on what type of song I'm doing, like what type of mood I'm in. Cause I always have like five albums that I always go back to. Like that Biggie album, the Raekwon joint, Nas first joint, Illmatic. I listen to um, Machiavelli. And I always go back to them because I feel, to me, in my time, I'm a younger person, so those are like the, the best albums I ever heard. Some of my best lyrics come I'm saying, in my own privacy somewhere, you know what I mean? Like when I'm like, I may go to Woo Mountain for a minute and just sit by the lake, you know what I mean? You know, you get to yourself and you just one with nature and you can really express something different than just the project and something different than just how much you want to stab it up to do the shorty or you want to be with these wizards and all that. I'm saying it sounds very epic about that. I've been really, it's been hard for me to write, so now I really just go in the studio in the mic room and put the headphones on, turn the mic off. My technique is rhyme until I, you know, I don't know what to say next. Stop, think about it, then punch in the next few lines. Stop, think about it, 
punching the next few lines right there. Uh, well, that's L, you man. know what I mean? I did my digital album the same Yo, way. Yo, that, that way you wow. just flow over the track nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you just get what's off your, yep. what you've been thinking Every about. Every word you said. You know that's, that's, a, that's like a hip-hop technique right there you're describing. For y'all fans out there that want to learn how to do hip-hop, when we go into the studio, throwing your headphones, turn the mic on and just start letting it out. Like Old Dirty do his old album like that. You know what I mean? You just go up there and just let it out. And then, like, you know, then you just come with the next door and just keep punching it in. So you got a verse, and you may write it down then and recite it over. Right, you know what right. I mean? I'm glad to see somebody else do that technique right there. So that's how yeah. I, I did my whole digital album, just spitting it out. It's one white girl I like out there that y'all know, an artist wise. She's got a nice style about her. Um, she got a strange name, though. That girl, Natalie? Yeah, yo, Natalie's a fox, yo. Yeah, yeah that's the one I like, I like too. Hey, sure. that's that, son. You know what I mean? Bobby Digital might have to do something. Cut a song with her. <laughs> <laughs> Rizzo, Rizzo won't do it, but Bobby Digital may pop in. I like Aaliyah, Lauren Hill, Larry J. Let's back up. Um, Maya. Faith, Maya. I like them. I like them. They're doing their thing. Lauren Hill for me, because I just, I like to see people just come, just come from the bottom and just shine. Like when I look at like a Erica Badu, because I know that's somebody who will walk in a label and they'll look at it like, what is this? You know, and nobody <laughs> want to take a chance with it. Because I was like one of those people when I started, they was like, can't rap that slow. Can't be serious. So. Just to see people like that do it just mean the world, because they give other people out there a chance to be unique. I want to do a joint with all of these brothers up here. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to do. Oh, we're going to do that, though. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what I want. definitely going to lie like that. And I always want to do a song with Stevie Wonder, and only based on, I mean, musically. It's just way, 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 way doing the hardest. I mean, the older cats hit your heart a certain way. All the old stuff is great, and you will, you'll be surprised probably how much you may walk to any one of our clubs and see a lot of 70s and 60s stuff, you know what I mean, just on, on the wall and, and the crates. I like Al Green and Curtis Mayfield. I'm real into their the music. Mm -hmm. um, I want to see Nas with golf Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, you know, the best thing is to work with somebody you always, you know, looked up to was like, a legend to you, you know? My goal when I first started rap, I wanted to be like the the best entertainer in the world. So I would want to do a song with like a Michael Jackson or something, just to see how the video would come out. Earth, Wind & Fire. I'm doing a new album right now. Do the song with them. Yeah, but I'm doing an album, so I know you're an old, old head, so oh. I'm going to be hitting you on that. Hi. The older cats have that vibe, so like me being in the story, studio with like Maurice White or whatever, just the things that I'm learning. These ain't cats that did one album or two albums or three albums and had the hype for two or three or four years. I'm talking about they, hold, they held it down a whole century, you know what I mean? So I want to know what was in their head when they were doing the music. So we last 25, 30, 40, 50 years. I think for the millennium that hip hop gonna be the ultimate, the ultimate music. Like back in the days it was rock and roll and soul and all that. For the millennium it's gonna be straight hip hop. It's just gonna get uh, more independence, more new, like record labels, distribution. Some guys starting out on the street just going straight with their internet. They, yeah, yeah right. internet, right. just selling it, the music over the internet. You know, the internet maybe even take out, you know, be the end of record stores. I'm quite sure we're going to continue to grow. Hip hop's going to continue to grow and, and, and set new grounds. But I wouldn't be surprised if, if the white, if more white rappers even be in more effect than black rappers. Like to where it may be on some 20 years from now. There's more white rappers and only 10 black rappers, you know what I'm saying, as far as being seen on TV. But there's so much money involved with this, I would not be surprised if they shift who the money's going to somehow, somewhere. Hip-hop is definitely going to be a voice bigger than it has been, so it will be more of a threat than it was for the past 20 years. So they're going to be trying to shut it down in any way that they can. But as you know, this music will not go nowhere for the next 2,000 years. <laughs> You know, so we'll be here. Yeah, I'm so